So I needed a reset. Nothing too long, nothing too complicated. So I decided on just doing a very quick reset for one day. I needed something simple, preferably delicious, and definitely monotonous just to take the food fatigue away for a day. So I landed on eating potatoes all day. So find out in this video how that worked out for me. When you're feeling overwhelmed or frustrated about your weight loss, simplifying your diet for even just a day or two could be just the thing you need to get you back on track. And now, of course, let's be honest, this is just a temporary fix. So if you are looking for more of a long-term fix, and maybe right now you are feeling frustrated in your weight loss journey, and you're in need of some more whole food plant-based recipes to get you going, then I have luck for you because right now I'm running an amazing special on all of my weight loss recipe eBooks. These are literally the recipes that I was eating to lose 60 pounds. All of my recipes use simple ingredients. They're designed specifically with weight loss in mind and never lacking in flavor. So right now, all four books are on sale for only $15 for the next 48 hours only. That is literally less than $5 a book. And I'm also doing a free giveaway to the first five people who click the link in the description box below. You will get this bundle for free. So if you wanna check out this awesome sale, link will be found in the description box below. All right, so full disclosure, I am not the biggest breakfast person. So when it comes to breakfast, I typically like eating something a little bit lighter or a little bit on the sweet side. So for my breakfast using potatoes, I landed on having my sweet potato breakfast bowl. Let me tell you, this is like eating dessert for breakfast. It is that good. I'm not kidding. So I just started with using two sweet potatoes that I'm going to slow cook in my oven. Now, if you're unsure how to make sweet potatoes, trust me on this. This is the way you want to make them because this way they will turn out the sweetest you've ever had them. So we'll get back to those sweet potatoes in just a second. So while they're in the oven, I'm going ahead and making myself a tea. My children's grandmother gifted this set to me for my birthday recently, and I'm telling you, it is incredible. So I wanted to show you guys in case you haven't seen this. These are amazing. I'm asking her for the link, so I'm hoping that she gets back to me. Um, before I release this video and I will have it posted in my description box below if I am able to get my hands on it. But check out some of these flavors. I haven't even had a chance to try hardly any of them, but just the smell alone is incredible. I'm so excited for this package. Um, so, so far we've had the mango tea, which tasted exactly like mango. And here I'm going to go ahead and give this strawberry lemonade a try. My daughter was really excited to try it with me, so we landed on this one and honestly had no regrets. <laughs> so anyways, this is what the tea looks like. So I just filled up my little tea ball there and then popped it in my lovely mug that my daughter gifted me for my birthday. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the colors on that. And yeah, I just let it steep for about 10 minutes or so. And this is what it ended up looking like. Such a rich, flavorful tea. It is so delicious. You don't even need any sugar or anything. And the strawberry lemonade actually tasted so good hot, but we thought that it actually would taste maybe even better cold because it just tasted exactly like what you would imagine strawberry lemonade to taste like. It's so good. So if you guys are wanting to check that out, like I said, I will try to post the link in my description box below. Okay, so back to those sweet potatoes. Now again, if you're wanting this recipe, I should mention that all the recipes in today's video will be posted in my description box below and all the recipes can also be found in my cookbooks that are on sale right now. Okay, but for now you're probably wondering why I am stabbing the heck out of these sweet potatoes. Well, let me tell you, this is the secret hack to making the sweetest of sweet potatoes. Check out the sugar right here. This is all sugar baby coming out of those sweet potatoes. A lot of times I see people poke them, you know, maybe three or four times. No, you need to stab them a gazillion times on both sides and that's when all the sugars will be released and you cook them nice and slow and it's literally like candy. Like looking at that, I can just eat it just like that. It's that sweet. So that's how you make the perfect sweet potatoes. But again, I will have those instructions in my description box below. So we are going to turn this deliciously sweet sweet potato into a pudding-like breakfast. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. If you try anything in this video, I highly, highly recommend trying this recipe just because while it's amazing for breakfast, it is also amazing for a very healthy treat. 
So once those sweet potatoes are cooled down, then the peel just basically falls off. So I just went ahead and peeled it, but spared you guys watching me having to do that. And then I threw a half of a banana in there that I actually just defrosted from my freezer because I didn't have any fresh bananas, um, about a quarter of vanilla plant-based milk, and then hit the blender. And it just turns out to be like silky, silky smooth. I hope that this video captures the texture because Boy, it is so, so, so smooth. I absolutely love this. And my daughter, who is actually not even a fan of sweet potatoes in general, she even agreed just how delicious this was. So I generally like to top it off with a little bit of cinnamon. It just adds, you know, a little bit of extra sweetness and nice flavor to it. But of course, the cinnamon can be optional. So that is my breakfast. And I guess one takeaway point from this is that when I say I'm going to be eating potatoes all day, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be just you know a plain old boring potato i took these sweet potatoes and whipped it up into something absolutely delicious so you know you can have fun with your food it doesn't have to be bland or boring just because you're eating healthy so i had this sweet potato breakfast bowl around 10 a.m or so and it kept me full till around 2 p.m and that's when i had my next potato meal so for lunch i was really just bringing it back to the basics and whipping myself up some delicious oil-free french fries who doesn't like french fries so again, if you're new to my channel or new to an oil-free whole food plant-based way of eating, we don't use any oil or very, very minimal oil if we do in this lifestyle. So to make these fries, they are oil-free. But don't let that turn you off yet because I'm going to show you how I make my oil-free French fries and they turn out to be crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. But there is a particular way to make them so that they turn out that way. I've heard a lot of people complain that, you know, the oil-free French fries can turn out really really dry and it's true they can so here I'm showing you how I do it so for starters I like to soak my fries for about 10 minutes or so just to get some of that excess starch off and then I give them a good rinse once they've soaked and then throw them into a pot of boiling water now this is the secret hack right here I blanch them for about five to seven minutes or so you don't want them to cook all the way through but here I'm just showing you too. look at all the starch residue left out of that bowl so that just shows you that a lot of the starch actually does come off but at any rate after you blanch them for about seven minutes or so just enough until the fork can be pierced through it then I drain them out and throw them in my air fryer for an additional 15 to 17 minutes or so on low so the secret here is to cook them slow and low so I think a lot of people like to cook them at 400 degrees I cook them at 325 after blanching them you know we want to get that head start and that's how they turn out crispy on the outside and soft on the inside and you will not miss the oil okay so that was a pretty big plate of potatoes and it kept me full for quite some time so i wasn't ready for dinner until around 7 7 30. so for dinner i'm having my potato caesar salad and let me tell you i ate this salad like it was going out of style when i was losing those first 30 pounds i absolutely love eating the potato caesar salad it's so good you wouldn't necessarily think of putting caesar over potatoes but you know the thought came to me one day a long time ago and it worked it's so so good so basically i just threw a few small potatoes in my instant pot and cooked them for about 25 minutes let them cool peeled them cubed them and now i'm just adding all my favorite fixings and again you can play around with this there are never any hard rules with my recipes so there i just threw in some diced red pepper onion and pickle and here is my caesar dressing and this can also be found in my recipe ebooks um, this dressing is amazing because you can make it using walnuts cashews um, almonds or if you want a fat-free version like how I like having it then you can replace those nuts with beans and I'm telling you the flavor is still on point so you can have it with a little bit of fat or no fat at all so this is what I had for dinner I had no regrets once again it was so so tasty so there's my full day of eating potatoes for breakfast lunch and dinner potatoes are one of the main foods that I was eating to lose 60 pounds because they keep you full for so long so this was my quick reset let me know in the comments if you be willing to do a potato reset even just for a day and again don't forget to check out that awesome book sale all four of my books for only 15 bucks link is in the description see you guys in the next one